all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they give them back to back updates on how things they be or how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this news all right my wonderful people the latest one with the buzz brings right now be say yes my people as it don't they happen for everywhere and so we go to give them straight to now back to back and uh yes as we all know sit at home and uh, how it has been giving issues every single place at this particular point yes we know that in anambara state uh Soludo, the one and only Soludo, uh he has tried his best to look for a way to stop uh, the the um sit at home but then it is not working as uh, people in anambara 3 does reject his fresh order to end sit at home without the release of martin namdekano as we all know that uh, no matter whatever it is that is happening at this point uh, people will never people will never decide to do anything they do not want to do and that is the truth of the matter um, no matter what uh, these people do people have come to decide that you see monday you see this particular thing on mondays they are ready to lose their lose their the profit they normally have on monday my people you know how busy mondays are uh Igbo traders have decided that no matter what uh, Soludo does, no matter how long he has decided to like want to end everything concerning the sit at home on Mondays, uh, the traders have rejected it and have refused it on every ground. And they have said that they are not going to stop sit at home. They are instead going to continue in that line. They are going to continue in everything that they relates with sit at home and make sure that they do not um they make sure that the mazinam the can is released before there is any stoppage or anything that looks like a stopping of sit at home and we all know that these people especially the federal government they, they look like people that are not planning on releasing mazinam the can and that is a very big blow on their head because if they are not releasing mazinam the can with them they are not also planning on looking for ways they are not looking for legit ways to stop the sit at home because it is not stopping at any point in time until they do the needful that is my own point until they decide to actually do the needful they will talk about anything they say they want to talk about or they will not do anything they feel like they want to do because i on my own end i feel I feel that the sit at home is like one of the most important things that we need to use and hold against these people. Because I feel like at some point they do not understand the gravity of everything that is happening. They do not understand how far we have come. They do not understand how far people have actually put their lives on the line for this particular movement. And until they come to that realization, until they come to that particular understanding, they will not know why we are hitting or we are still being steadfast on the sit at home holding. Because we know it is one of the things we need upon the fact that we are still fighting on the PMBRGIE. Simon Eba and Joko is fighting to and nail to make sure that we go far and wide. We know that there is a need. There is, an, there is a very huge essential need for Mazinam the Kano to be released. And if they do not do that, that means it's going to be, it's going to be something that would end up causing a whole lot of trouble. And that is the truth of the matter. Mazinam the Kano needs to be released from the Sitatum. It's as easy as that. Just release this man and watch how Sitatum ends in every state with immediate effect. But then, keep holding him and watch how people would not regard anything you could keep saying. Nothing of sort would stop people from going about their activities or deciding to stay at home. It has turned into an automatic holiday for every single person, especially in the Southeast. Because they do not regard Mondays. They do not regard Mondays again. It's like Mondays are now one of the days. In fact, when they talk about the weekend, the Monday is now part of the weekend for Ndibo, for Bia France, and uh, it has taken all over. And uh, one thing is sure, people are not going to put themselves in a state where, uh, where they were not before. Because, of course, the release of Martin and the Kano is paramount, it's a priority, it's a necessity. And until these people realize that, then we can actually move forward. But until then, 
since they have decided not to do what is important to us that means they are not ready to actually allow us to progress and uh, it is a very very bad sign and so because of that we'll keep on doing the new work to and these things are needed one way or another in the situation that nigeria found himself right now because the biafra zones the biafra the, the biafra land that we are in at this particular point is a place that needs to be safeguard, safeguarded fully. It needs people that would actually take care of it at this particular point. And uh, we cannot let the Biafra land be led to, to, to be led bare for these people to come and prowl into it for full and needs to wake up and just enter into our land and do whatever it is they want. Because of course, that is what these people would always want. That is what uh, Hopo Zodima have led these, these people to enter into Oweri, Imo State, or wherever it is in Oweri, in Imo State, to do whatever it is they want, just because they claim, in quotes, they are trying to accommodate them. What have happened to the rest of their states over there? It's not enough for them. They are coming over here to do some kind of things they wish. My people, it is not, it is not a, an accommodating system. It is a way to use and encroach into our land and take over the land. Go to Douglas in a way. The news that we are getting right now is that during their, 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 once it happens that it's on Friday and it's time for the atmosphere, you cannot go through, you cannot go on the road on Douglas. The Douglas Road, that is what we are getting at this particular point. You cannot cross because they are all on the road and that place is blocked. Cars do not go through. This is more than an encroachment. This is a takeover they are trying to do in our state. And this is not going to work out. And that is why the Biafra Liberation Army has been saying, if these people make a move against our people, they will collect it out of In fact, at this particular point, we are not waiting. The situation of things now have brought it up to the extent, the range that we do not care if they have done anything. The main thing is that they are not going to succeed in whatever they want to do. And so they are going to be brought down, hit down. At any point in time, because the the things they are involved in or their plans is very hideous for Biafra, it's very hideous for Ndibo. And at this particular point, I'm trying to let you know that the most important thing for you to do is to do your own part wherever you find yourself as an evil person. For you, as someone that is maybe in, in, in support of the movement or in support of everything that we hold dear in our land, as we all know that PM Simon Network is working on his own part. Yes! That is the truth. As he is currently in Canada now to work on the the, the, the Biafra referendum, the Biafra convention also. That is taking place here, which would make one of the biggest steps we've ever made ever since as he's going to hold in, in Canada. And people, it is not any different for the most one of the most important things that, that needs to be done. It's one of the big steps we are taking to become better than these people in every sector, in every way. The fact that we brought up our own digital coin, our own currency, is also a big step. So that we do not have to, when we have finally gotten this Biafra nation, we do not have to wait. There is nothing like, ah, we are lacking in this system. Once it comes, the, 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 the currency is there already for us to pick up and leave. Every single thing is laid in place. If they come up and say, what are the things that are laid in place if your nation is given this, if your, this division is being done now? Everything will be placed on the table. And they will see that this particular set of people are ready. People keep acting, these things are being done. Not to, these are the reasons why these things are being done. Enough of the dialogue. Dialogue has been done a whole lot of time. Dialogue has been born by a, a map power for them. And they've been, 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 been it's, it's been like a child's play for them. Because, of course, the government would keep talking to them and keep turning them around. In fact, it's not maybe keep, it's what they keep doing to them. They keep turning them around like they are kids. And uh, at the end, there is no progress or whatsoever that these people actually have concerning the whole situation of the country. No progress at all. And if you're not getting any progress from this sort of thing, it means you need to change strategy. And that is what the PM have come to do. That is what the PM entered this whole situation with, a new strategy. We are not going with dialogue again, we are going with violence, giving people back to back. After giving people back to back, we are still making moves internationally to make sure that we are securing our places at the right places to make sure that when the time comes, we will not be caught slacking. We will not be caught slacking at all, at all, at all. We cannot be caught slacking. We know the zones that are the Biafra zones and how it will be divided. These people are not interested in anything. They do not want to let us go. And they, 
them keeping us in, in Nigeria today. They want to keep oppressing Ndigo, oppressing the youths, keeping them down, pinning them down, without wanting anything that would, that would uh, uh, look into the progress of Ndigo. And that is very bad. And that is why these steps are being taken day and night. Also, that is it. Yes, my people, this is where we come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Thank you.